Hi guys, welcome. This is Ted from Ted's Wig Emporium. Today I'm going to be talking to you about children's wigs and if adults can wear such styles. I'm going to use one such example. This is Miley by Amore, Rene of Paris collection, because I really feel they get overlooked quite easily when it comes to a petite size styles. So stay tuned, guys, because all the details are coming up next. <laughs> When it comes to wig sizes, most of us are quite comfortable wearing an average size cap construction with maybe making some adjustments at the nape when the wig feels a bit too big. But if you are struggling to find a more comfortable wig, you might want to have a look in a petite size category. And you might be surprised, petite sizes comes in three different sizes. We are getting a standard petite size, which is for head between 20 to 21 and a quarter inch circumference. Then we are getting a petite petite size for heads ranging between 19 and a quarter to 20 inch circumference. And then lastly, for really small heads, we are getting an ultra petite head size and those are anything under 19 and a quarter inch circumference. So although most of the children's wigs are made for the ultra petite heads, there are some styles out there which are more designed for teenagers and young adults. From my personal experience, I have tried a couple of those styles, one of which are no longer no longer own. That was Ashley by John Reno, and she was a gorgeous looking style. Today I'm going to be showing you Miley from Amore, Rene of Paris collection. So compared to Ashley by John Reno, which was a perfect petite size cup, Miley here falls in more of a petite petite category. The measurements of the cup are 12 inches from the end of the lace to the nape and 12 inches from ear to ear. So that gives you a rough idea of how this wig would fit you. Personally, um, I find this cup slightly too small. My head circumference is 21 and a half inch, and this one does come up a little bit high. But the reason I got Miley is to be able to wear her in a ponytail with a headband. But I will show you that, guys, in a little while. Miley is a really lovely looking long bob. She's got lots of flicky layers at the bottom. The measurements overall are 15 inches long, so she's slightly longer than my Tatum wig I'm wearing at the moment. Tatum is also by Amore. Miley is tad longer, not much. So just to give you a comparison, this is very similar to a Tatum style. Miley comes with a four and a half inch bangs. She has full monotop. It looks really natural. She comes with a lace front, monofilament top, which is covered by this mesh material which is really soft on the top of your head. You can part your hair anywhere in this section here. We are getting open wefts with decent amount of stretch. We are getting rose covered ear tabs with metal stays, non-extended nape and there were some pull adjusters at the nape, which I have removed. You will find most of children's wigs will come in more natural looking shades. This one is called Golden Brown. It is definitely a super beautiful color. And although this is just one shade, there is 
a level of depth in this color. It's not shiny at all in a natural daylight. It looks super, super natural. Compared to the marble brown, also by Amore, there are no golden highlights as you can see here side by side. Super natural looking, no rooting, really believable natural looking light brown. Although a Miley comes with um, comes in one fun color which is a bubble gum. Silvery grey with pink hues throughout. Okay, let me guys put her on so you can see what she looks like on me. So this is how Miley looks on my head. Let me guys give you a spin first. This is my right hand side. From the back. And my left hand side. I love those flicky layers. They look really, really cute. The bangs are not very dense compared to my Tatum, for example. They feel much more natural. So you can see they are easily brushed to the side. Whereas Tatum didn't have a lace front, Miley does, which is a, another bonus. So you can expose the lace front if you wanted to. It does show you here from the close up. So the knotting is done really nice. You can plug some of those knots just to make it look a little bit more uneven. The coverage on here, because this cup is slightly small, the ear tabs do come up quite high. And on this side, so if you are able, you can always blend some of your bio hair as well. So one thing I wanted to draw your attention to, guys, is a slightly visible line where the monofilament meets the lace front here. But again, this could be due to the fact that this wig is slightly tight on me, so it will be slightly more stretched. You can, however, change that parting to hide it. On various sides. The hair feels really, really nice on this one. It's a standard synthetic fiber. She doesn't tangle a lot. She feels really smooth and silky to the touch. Beautiful length. Perfect, I think, for the longevity of this wig as well. Let me guys show you the ponytail. I've been wearing her as a high pony style. And the reason I kept Miley is to be able to wear her with a headband. But without the headband, this is the coverage on me. So as you can see, my hairline is slightly below. So the way I like to wear my Miley is with a headband. This is a John Renault Softy. That will cover the circumference of the wig. And it will cover that line at the monofilament. So this is the way I like to wear my Miley. Cute, right? 
So if you have any questions about children's wigs or if you have an experience of wearing them, do comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.